Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Fossil of the Week and today we've got a couple of different fossils and replicas from the amazing sauropods. Now sauropods, for those who don't know, are the long neck uh, plant-eating dinosaurs or herbivorous dinosaurs um, and include a lot of amazing ones like um, Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, Camarasaurus, um, Sauroposidon, there's so many. Um, one famous one, Patagol Titan, Argentinosaurus. These were huge, um, and they all had the long neck. They all ate lots of um, lots of plants. Some of them grew very big, but here we have some amazing replicas. This is actually a replica of the Diplodocus skull. Okay, and as you can see, I'm just turning it around there. It had these front peg-like teeth for stripping leaves. Okay, so it loved stripping leaves um, and swallowing them whole. In fact. The skull is very small and light. Um, lots of sauropods have very small skulls. Um, and of course, they didn't need a big skull. They didn't need lots of teeth for grinding plants because they swallowed them whole using these rake-like teeth and then swallowed them um, all into their belly. Very cool dinosaurs indeed. So, cool fact about Diplodocus, we've never found an actual skull. This is a scientific sort of, um, sort of guess on how they would look uh, compared to other dinosaurs that we know. Um, so it is um, as accurate as they can make it. But here, whoa, this, what, does, what do you think this is? Answer in the comments. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to answer. Um, but this is from the sauropod or, or a sauropod known as a patasaurus. Okay, um, Apatosaurus was another long neck dinosaur. It was huge and this is actually one of its vertebrae. For those who don't know, vertebrae are kind of your backbone going into your tail. So there are different types of vertebrae. This is a mid vertebrae, which means it wasn't part of the tail, it was part of the back. But it is so cool. Look at the size on it. Um, and just to put in perspective, this isn't even one of the biggest ones ever found. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so this is an Apatosaurus vertebrae. Remember that word, important. Um, another thing that we've got um, with regards to sauropods are these. These are sauropod eggs, okay? We can tell because of the roundness of them in a way. Um, and all dinosaurs we know lay eggs, but sauropods, um, they were a little bit different. They didn't actually nest their eggs. Um, lots of them would sort of walk away from their eggs. Some of them didn't even know they were laying them. <laughs> I know that's cool, right? So they actually fell to the floor. Um, and another cool fact is some sauropods lay 500 eggs per season and only one in a thousand survive. So they needed to lay lots of eggs. So it was a little bit different to some of those uh, meat-eating theropods. Um, let's show you something else. When I said about the long neck dinosaurs just grabbing the leaves and swallowing them whole, they did need to digest them. Now, when you have that much food in your belly, it's very hard to digest, it takes a lot of time. And so they actually swallowed these. They're little gastroliths, yeah. It's a belly stone, basically. And lots of big animals today actually eat stones to help digest. But these huge dinosaurs needed to do this. Um, and these actually came out then in its poop. <laughs> yeah, dino poop. I know, disgusting. So another key factor for these long neck dinosaurs is their digestive system. So there you go. Everyone, today's dinosaur fossil of the week, which to do with the sauropods, the patasaurus and Diplodocus. Hope you enjoyed.